with the Tampa Bay Rays. It will be lefty Shane McClanahan making his 15th start of the season. Picked up his fourth win his last time out against the Baltimore Orioles. We talked about that ball game in the open. Five innings, one earned run, seven strikeouts. Most swings and misses, 22 that he has had in any start this season. You hope to continue that ball rolling down the hill here tonight. DJ LeMayhew at 265, seven homers and 37 RBIs. Hit sharply past Diaz, and that'll go down the left field line. It goes all the way to the wall. LeMayu is motoring to second. He makes a turn. He'll stop right there. A leadoff double for DJ LeMayu. It's his 15th double of the year. He has a streak of now 36 games reaching base. It's hard not to misjudge when he's uh, out, and he's been out for nine games. Yankees survived to the tune of five and four, but what could have been losing some tough games. Cut on, hit on the ground, base hit, left field. LeMayu had a late start. The ball was in on the left side, so he holds the third. So Judge singles hard to left in the shortstop hole. The Yankees have the bases loaded, one out. And here is Glaber Torres. Let's see if the Yankees take advantage of this first inning. Grounded a short double play ball, and the Yankees will not score in the inning. A 6 4 double play, the Yankees' specialty, and they don't score. Remember that later in the game. Well, you're asking Monty to back it up. He had a phenomenal start against the Red Sox, was all set up for the win before the bullpen imploded. Five and two thirds shutout innings. You just hope that he can do the same and I always love to watch him find his curveball early. I know pitchers pitch around their fastball but his curveball is so important. Red Sox were one for nine with five K's against his curveball and high five his fifth start against the Rays and he's been very good. One on and one out and here is our first look at Nelson Cruz in a Tampa Bay uniform. What a go. Throw to third. And Margot is out as Gary Sanchez threw a laser to third. Watch this throw. My goodness, he laid it right in front of the bag on the money. Urshel, it's just catch and just leave it there. The tag right onto the oven mitt. Now let's see if the Yankees. Now Lamar is two and two. Let's see if we can get the run in. And a cut in the miss. He went up. <laughs> and with, with, with a slider that stayed up there. Here's Greg Allen with the corners up. Breaking ball, strike three. The Yankees don't score again. No runs, one hit, and one left. Here is Nelson Cruz. This is a great opportunity for the Rays. Two on and one out. Hit on the ground a short double play ball. Feed second one. On to first. It's a double play. Well, the Yankees get out of that. Montgomery has thrown 62 pitches in three innings. So he's had a battle. So here is Lamar with runners at first and second and two up. Lamar struck out his first time. He's a right hand hitter. Grounded to second. Lau throws to first in time. And that will end the inning. No runs, one hit, and two left. Rays have had men in scoring position in each of the first three innings. We are scorers. And he'll deal one two to Zunino. Strike three. And both pitchers are just living on a razor's edge, and yet we're still scoreless. Now let's see if the Yankees can move that runner. They have a runner at second and no one out, and they have all their big hitters coming up. Hit on the ground to the right side. Beautiful job by LeMayu. Coming around third is Allen. The throw home is not in time. It's a base hit and an RBI for DJ LeMayu. And the Yankees take a 1 0 lead, and DJ tried to do that. He took a pitch and went with it hitting it to the right side past the uh, the glove of Brandon Lau one nothing Yanks. And one of the things you've got to love is the is the speed of Greg Allen. That's the third walk given up by Monty. Since 2020 Cruz hitting 392 against left handed pitching. Aaron Boone staying with Montgomery here. Breaking ball cut out and miss. That's terrific work by Montgomery. He pitched five strong innings tonight two straight singles to right. First and third, no one out, and here is Gio Urshela. And that one is lined into left center field. It's a base hit. Let's see if it splits the outfielders. It's cut off in the gap by Kiermeyer, and they are going to wave home Odor. Here's the throw. Here's the play. He's in there. Urshela with a two-run double in the Yankees' lead, three nothing. Odor came all the way home on a double in the left center field gap by Urshela. Big hit, and the Yankees take a three nothing lead. And Ruggie Odor, who does everything with a lot of flair, just slid in both hands to home plate ahead of the throw. Great, great. They're going down the gauntlet. Ruggie leads the gauntlet this time. Well, there is a red light there by Phil Nevin, and Odor ran right through it. 
Well, here's LeMayu, who is two for three. Swing and a little looper on the shallow right. Lau going out, Margot coming in. Margot slides and makes the catch to take away a base hit from LeMayu and keep the Yankees from adding on. Nice play by Manuel Margot and right. That little blooper was going to be trouble, but he made the catch. And so with two outs and a runner at first, there's Brandon Lau. Three nothing New York is the Rays just can't get the big hit. There's a swing and a fly ball. Left field and deep. Lamar going back to the wall. It's gone. Brandon Lau goes up. He gets him in. And it's a 3-2 game. 22nd home run of the season for Brandon. Knocks in Jimon Choi for his 50th and 51st runs batted in. And the Rays have cut the deficit to one. And let's face it, the final two months are so important. And they have, you know, what looks like a nice lead, 3 nothing. Montgomery was great. Bang, it's 3 2. Here's Ryan Lamar. He's a right hand hitter. That one is hit to right field and deep. Going back, Margot on the track at the wall. See ya. A home run the other way for Lamar. And the Yankees lead 4 to 2. Flying Ryan coming home. That's Lamar's second home run. He got a little pop. They hit it the opposite way to right field. And the Yankees take a 4 2 lead. Raised down a pair of runs in the bottom of the eighth. He has it second. And now Rosarena. Swing a line drive down the right field line. Fair or foul? It's a fair ball. Takes a bounce. It goes out of play. Diaz will score. A Rosarena to second with the automatic double. It's a one run New York lead. 4 3 Yankees. So here is Chapman. Three hits and an earned run allowed in the last six innings he's pitched. Swing and a miss. Blew it right by him. Three straight fastballs, one away. So one away, and that'll bring up Manuel Margot. And that one is punched out into center field, and it's caught by a diving Allen for the second out. Beautiful play by Greg Allen. Good jump, and he hauls it in for out number two. Chapman loved to see it. Now, if you're the Rays, your chances rest in a 20-year-old. And Franco draws the walk. Well, here is Nelson Cruz. With one swing, he can win the game for Tampa. Yankees have a 4 3 lead. Nelson Cruz homered against Chapman earlier this year. Walked him off. But he got another one in him. Now here's the payout pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him. Chapman saves it, and the Yankees win 4 to 3. And we've said this before if there's going to be a DVD of this season, the title's going to be a Don't Come Easy.